chosen ones. Over these next few weeks, the next test that's coming for you is how will you resolve conflict? How will you respond to conflict? Now, you've been growing a lot over these past, you know, these past several months, over these past, you know, couple a few years actually you've grown so much you've gone through so much spiritual warfare you your spiritual awakening that you've been going through and you know the level that you have been expanding you've been facing a lot of, of opposition a lot of warfare you've been healing a lot you've really been going through the fire but god has given you beauty for your ashes and you are the phoenix rising but it took you a lot to get to this point. Now God is ready to test you again, is how will you apply what you have learned? How will you show God that you are being obedient, that you are being humble, that you are disciplining yourself, and that you are completely turning away from those old ways and behaving in the way that God wants you to behave, how God wants you to speak, how God wants you to speak to other people, speak to your family, your your siblings, your parents, your spouse, your children, you know, your friends, people that you don't necessarily get along with. How will you respond to them? How will you handle them? Now, I understand that you, you're dealing with some people that have betrayed you. They broke your trust. They've hurt you, abused you. They've done so many things. You know. You know what they've done. Some of the things that they have done, it may have taken you a while to forgive them. Some of you are still trying to find forgiveness for these people. But listen, it was all a part of your destiny. This is what's molding you and equipping you and shaping you into who you need to be, is how will you apply all of the training? You know, your home is, is like a training ground. Wherever you live, the people that are around you, those are your biggest tests. That's why they come at you so often and they come at you so severe. But remember, you hold the power to shift the entire atmosphere. To shift the entire atmosphere. Everybody will change. Everyone's energy will shift. Everyone's energy will elevate when you elevate the energy. You hold the power. You hold all of that power in the situation. And that's why the enemy tries to come at you because they're trying to keep that vibration low. They're trying to keep everything very low. That's why they tempt you because your energy is st the strongest and most powerful in your household. So they try to get you to get out of your character to bring that vibration completely down, to cause chaos and disruption <clears throat> in your home. But when you resist the devil, he will flee from you. Get behind me, Satan. Elevate the energy and bring that God.